guys, it's Slime here and welcome back to a brand new YouTube tutorial. And as you know, my past YouTube tutorials like my Crazy Craft one and my how to get add-ons, even though I named it mods in the title, uh, tutorials both got 2,000 views and I like your comments. You guys are really sweet and I'm, I'm thankful that each and every one of you subscribed. Well, not all of you, but because otherwise I'd have 2,000 subscribers. But anyway, thank you guys so, so much. And um, today I'm going to show you how to get another mod related thing for Mac and Windows. This is not clickbait, I promise you. If you skip to the time that I'm putting on screen now, this is where the Mac tutorial will start. But first I'm doing the Windows tutorial. So first of all, um, I will put these links in the description. You go to the Technic platform um, link and it will take you to a website that looks something like this and it says change the way you play Minecraft because it really does guys, it's actually really fun. And as you can see it says get the launcher, so if you click that button it will start downloading, or it should at least. Oh no sorry, sorry, wrong. You press get the launcher then you scroll to the very bottom, it's time to get started. Choose the platform below and install Technic Launcher, uh, yeah. So there is Windows, Mac OS X and Linux. So Basically, as you know, we're doing the Windows tutorial today, so we're going to press Windows. So as you can see at the bottom left of my screen, it has a Technic Launcher downloading EXE. So um, I'm just going to leave that there because I've already got it over here. So this is what your download will look like. Then, well, you can put your Technic Launcher wherever you want. Once you've got it, then you can open it up. It's going to sail this JS. Is it working? I hope so. It's really awkward when tutorials record and then they don't work. Okay, so let me just make sure it looks like the same as your guys. Uh, da, 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 da. Add new user. Here we go. So guys, when you open it up, for you guys, it'll look like this. For Mac, you might have to right click and press open, even though I'm going to give a tutorial on that just now. Never mind. As you can see, it says, it's very basic. It says, please log in using your Minecraft account. So obviously what that means, it does say username, but you do have to put in your email address. So I'm typing my email address. Did I spell it right? I think I did. Oh, I did, first time, lovely. Then type in your password. And you can either remember it or not, and it will load up like this with your username at the bottom. Maybe your face won't load, but it will say, log in as your username. Then you can press mod packs. There are some mod packs you can download. But this isn't the end of it, guys, because you guys are going to press play here or install. It's going to say you need two gigabytes of RAM and you're all going to freak out saying, why is it not working? So to fix this, you go to the top right. As you can see, it says launcher options. Press on that and it will give you some general settings, some Java settings, some video settings and about. So now that you've got that, you can go to your Java settings. And as you can see, it will probably only have about one gig there, which completely sucks. So, yeah. We're going to try and sort this out for you guys. And, well, not going to try. I am going to sort this out for you guys. So then you can close Technic Launcher down. And then you can go to the second link in the description, which will be a Java link. It'll automatically download. You don't have to press anything. Just open it up. And as you can see, it started downloading. J-R-E-A-U-131-64-bit. one three one sixty four bit so if your guys if your friends also want to make install this make sure you give them this link as well because this is what lets them play that mod pack and also lets it run faster which is a very useful feature so i'll see you guys um after this is finished downloading okay guys i'm back it is finished downloading and as you can see it's at the top here i've put in my little tutorial folder it's jre atu 131 windows so you can put this wherever you want as well and it's got like a little, little, little shield down there so now that we've got this, you can double click it and it's going to ask you, do you want to do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? And obviously we do. So we're going to press yes. Nope. I promise you guys, this is no like clickbait. This is no like virus giving software. It's hundred percent safe. So then you just have to wait. We can minimize these. Welcome to Java. It's will say, then you can press install unless you want to change your destination folder. It will install Java as normal. Oh, come on, Java, why'd you take so long? Oh, and also, guys, while we wait for this, please let me know what tutorials you would like in the future because that would really be helpful because I don't know what you guys need. Do you need help installing shaders or what you, what you need? Let me know. So as you can see, we have installed Java successfully. So now you can press close. And I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah. And if you do have Java, Java originally, it will ask you to tick some boxes and press uninstall. Make sure you do that first and then press next and do all the rest of the steps. Then it will reinstall Java with the right version. 
Now that we've done that, we can go and open Technic Launcher again, wherever you've kept it, it doesn't really matter. It will open up its little wrench, and it will open up the launcher. And for those of you that didn't remember, it should just open up instantly. And for those of you that didn't, it will have to load up like that. So if you go to launch options now, Java settings, as you can see, it goes all the way to the amount of gigs of RAM you have. So don't expect it to say 15 like mine. I happen to have 16 gigs of RAM in my computer, so I can go that high. But for me, I use eight because I use some pretty com... Why? I don't know why my, all my mod packs are missing, but I did have some really crazy chunky mod packs that needed very high amounts of RAM. For this one you need two and it's got about, what is it, 118 mods. It's really fun to play with your friends. So if you'd like to try on how to get the server download for this, I will happily do that with you guys as well. So now that you've done this, as you can see on your screen there should be a little install button. You press that, it does take quite a while, don't think that your game's broken, it does take a long time, trust me, I have to wait about half an hour for this to download. Once it's done, it will say either delete pack or play. Obviously, we're not going to delete it, so you would press play and it would open up, which is great. So now you've done that, that's it basically for the Windows tutorial. Thank you guys for listening to the Windows tutorial. I hope this helped you. If it does, give it a big fat thumbs up. And if you would like to help your friends on Mac, continue watching to see the Mac tutorial. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day. Hey guys, it's Slime here and welcome to the second part of the tutorial where I'm showing you how to install Technic Launcher on the Mac. You either got here from seeing the little time on the screen or you just skipped ahead in the video because you were too impatient. Anyway, um, so now that we're on our Mac, we can show you how to get it. So as you can see, I have got two links on in this folder here. Um, this is this is nothing important guys. So obviously I've put the links in the description. Go to the first link, which is Technic Platform. So as you can see, it'll say change the way you play Minecraft and so on. Get the launcher or browse mod packs. So we're going to press get the launcher. It'll start this and it says download the Technic Launcher. So then you must scroll down and it says Windows, which we've already done. And now we've got Mac OS, which is what we're doing right now. So if you press Mac OS, it will download a jar file. Yeah, so it'll download a jar file is what we need. So now if we... Drag it, let's drag it into there, just to make life all in one place. So as you can see, it downloads, it's not very big, it's only 4.7 megs, which is really small, I promise you. For those of you that understand size. Okay guys, I am back. I have finished the download. As you can see at the top, it says technicalauncher.jar is now done. So if we, let's just drag that into this folder so we can use it here. You can put it wherever you want on your desktop. And one mistake I did make, I really do apologize you guys, is don't double click it for programs like this because as you saw for the crazy craft for some of you, it didn't open properly. So what you should rather do to make sure it works is right click, open. Now that you've pressed that, it, this will come out then there will be an open option. It's downloaded from an unidentified developer, are you sure you want to open it? And we do, so you'll press open, and now it will properly open, I really do apologise for that error you guys. But now now this one will work, it, just do the same for the Crazy Craft one, okay? So it is now opening on our desktop, and as you can see, it has finished. So now all we have to do is log in with our email address and password. So obviously I'm going to blur mine out, but I'm logging in. Okay, I've typed in my password. You can either do remember me or not. I'm going to do it. So if you press log in, I'll open up the launcher like this. And it will say logged in as your in-game name. And mine is slime 74 And now you guys are going to freak because you're going to try and play the first mod pack over here. And it's not going to work. So all we have to do now is look over here and as you can see there is launcher options sorry guys sorry i'm cutting let me just start over so it'll say install next to attack of the b team there at the bottom it says play but it will say install on your screen and it won't work because it will say you need at least two gigs of ram so you're gonna be like oh wait i need to change it so if you go to java settings you can change it but i forgot i had some drive on my laptop oh jesus wow okay but it's not gonna let you do that so now here comes the second step because it's not letting you, we have to go to our sec- If it does let you straight away, then then why are you listening? Then go play, have fun guys. But if it if it does say one gig or two gigs only, well, guys, think it through quick before we do this. If you only have two gigs in your computer and it says two gigs, it's not gonna go higher than that. But if you have eight gigs and it says it's only got one gig, here's where we need to do the step. So if you haven't installed Java, I'm pretty sure this is all we have to do. So you double click it, it will take you to this new link, which should download the Mac version. Yeah, here we go. Now we've got a DMG downloading. 
So it is quite, it's not actually that big, it's still only 67 megs. So I'll see you guys when it's finished. Okay guys, as you can see the download is now finished. All we have to do is, the same step is right click and open. It'll verify, you can press skip, but I just prefer to verify it in my opinion. It'll bring up this little box right here, and then you can double click. It might not open in like a folder, like, here we go. So what might happen is it might not say open, so what you can do is when you see this, also press right click, open. Java 8 Update 131 is an application downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you would like to open it? And we are sure because we want to play Attack of the B Team and all those other cool mod packs. So we press open. It should open this. Oh yeah, it'll put your account name here and I will blow mine because it's my real name and that's not cool at all. So I will do that. So then we can press next. It'll say installing Java, which is really simple. So let me just sit here and wait patiently for it to install. You have successfully installed Java 8. Now we've done that, we can open... Ooh, everything is flying everywhere, guys, I'm sorry. It might take you to a website, you can just close it. We can also close this website, we're not using it anymore. Now we can go to our tutorial folder, like we were. So we've done this, and we've done this, both steps. Now we can op open Technic Launcher again. It'll open up nicely. There we go. As you guys can see, it has logged me back in. You might have to re-log in again, but yeah, that's it. So if we go to mod packs, as you can see, it's still in the same state. If you go to launch options, Java settings, it should let you change them if it wasn't able to be changed before. So yeah, now you've successfully installed Java 64, but I hope you guys enjoy your time on this mod pack. Um, there are some really fun ones you can play. I don't know if this one still works, but I suggest like Zencraft and stuff like that. Attack of the B Team is absolutely amazing. You guys will love that. So enjoy your time on Technic Launcher. A big shout out to them for making this. It's really amazing. So thank you guys for watching this video. If I helped you on Mac or Windows, please give me a big fat thumbs up and comment down below what tutorial you would like me to do next on what and what like computer if i can do both i'll try to do both but yeah tell me what you need help with whether it, anything at all shaders mods servers i'll try my best so if this is the first video you've seen pop up into your screen by me then also consider subscribing because i make content as regularly as i can and i'm really trying to hit that 200 subscriber mark and i'm still going so i'm really happy with that so yeah enough of me yabbering if this did help you give it a big thumbs up and i will see you guys next time have a wonderful day you guys bye